Welcome to Kingdom Mirrors TV. On this channel, we post edifying content for your spirit and daily living. Kindly like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification to get notified each time we post. Thank you, stay blessed, and enjoy this video. Are you tired? Are you stressed out? Listen to this particular message for the refreshing of your spirit. Stay blessed. Please rise up on your feet. It's time to receive something now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Impartation is very important for the continuity of God's program across a territory. When God grants grace unto a man, it is not just for that man. It is for as many who desire to walk in those dimensions. When the lamp went off because the oil finished, the other virgins came to beg and he said go to them that sell and buy in every generation and in every territory there are always certain them that sell you don't buy with money you buy with meekness you buy with humility you buy with hunger you buy with open-heartedness go to them that sell and buy go to them that sell and buy when God sends a word to Jacob, it is because he wants to lighten it upon Israel. The intent is not just to have an apostolic conference within the East where God brought a man of God to come and teach, preach, and minister to people. But that by the privilege of God's grace, as touching the dimensions of grace he has given us, that somebody in addition to what you already carry perhaps, that you can be quickened by the Spirit to a greater dimension of efficiency. When that happens, it has translated to profiting for the kingdom. And so I want to speak over your life over the next five minutes. And I want you to believe. I want you to receive with all your heart. That impartation is a release of grace that is coming upon you. You don't have to bring the people under the anointing out for time. Since it's just an impartation they are receiving. Father, when you call men. It is because you want to anoint, you want to lift, you want to bless. I'm praying right now in the name of Jesus. That everybody who has been called into the prophetic office. Called to function in that office of a prophet. Whatever is limiting your performance in the spirit. I measure a thousand cubits for you in the spirit. And I decree and declare. Step into that river. Step into that river. Step into that prophetic river. Step into that prophetic river. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for everyone here whose prayer life has gone down. In the name that is above all names. Let the grace to fan back your altar to flames. May it be released upon you. I pray in the name of Jesus. That whoever has lost the passion to study the word, the passion to be a diligent student of scripture, just help them. You don't have to bring them out. In the name of Jesus, let light from heaven rest upon your spirit now. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then I'm praying for you. There are many of you who have been crawling. I want to release the grace for speed. In the name that is above all names anyone who has been stunted in life and ministry as i stretch my hands let that anointing that brings acceleration to your life let it locate you wherever you are let it locate you wherever you are please help them receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed in the name of jesus christ And I pray for you a higher level of authority in the spirit I am praying you will begin to command power with God in the name of Jesus Christ every church here that is struggling whether in terms of membership or resources to do the work of the kingdom or abled hands to help the man of God I decree and declare may my God raise grace and support for you in the name of Jesus Christ for every student who is on campus here 
the intelligence that only comes from the spirit i impact it upon your mind now in the name of jesus christ and i decree and declare that the forces of darkness the forces of terrorism the forces of evil and wickedness over enugu state or any of the eastern states right now as the church of the lord jesus christ we banish the influence of those spirits in the name of jesus christ and any group fraternity cult that is poised to kill lives to cause mayhem to stop people on the road and slaughter people we decree and declare let there be angels released on assignment let there be angels released on assignment now i decree and declare like the rain that comes from heaven let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life now let it begin to rain in your life let it begin to rain in your ministry let it begin to rain in your office let it begin to rain in your business in the name of jesus christ the spirit of untimely death that has plagued families and will not allow families move forward in the name of jesus i call upon my god who is also your god let the dominion of death over families come to an end now please believe what you are receiving anyone here trusting god for a job whether for you or for your children i call upon the lord god of heaven who helps men between now and the end of this year may my god surprise you may my god surprise you in the name of jesus and i pray this is a place that has been graced with the spirit of entrepreneurship i pray for anybody who is struggling in business anybody who is struggling to make ends meet in the name that is above all names i place grace upon you go and begin to excel 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 there are many of you who are here but the truth is that your destiny is not in this nation wherever you are i relocate you to the place of destiny in the name of jesus the son of the living god east of the niger let me pray for you your children will not serve the devil please shout a loud amen your children will not serve idols there will never be a generation in the east that will reject the god of the bible therefore we decree and declare let the fire of revival let it rest upon the east let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the lord let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the lord let your sons and daughters call upon the name of the lord in the name of jesus christ hear me ladies and gentlemen any family that has been backward here that will not go forward i stand as a prophetic midwife i push you forward i push you forward go forward in life go forward in destiny go forward in life go forward in destiny go forward in life go forward in destiny listen please don't be tired of receiving listen to me i stand with all humility there is something that is coming on you i know what it means to be helped by god this man who is standing before you is a testament of what it means to be helped by god i have stood before kings before nations presidents leaders captains of industry i am not one person who has the leverage of somebody coming to do this no it is the finger of god there is a grace that comes upon a man it's called the grace for visibility it says neither do men light a candle that is the grace i want to release on you right now 
wherever you are whatever has been hiding your glory i call upon the god of jeshurun that right here where you are rise to a position of visibility rise to a position of visibility rise to a position of visibility in ministry in business rise to a position of visibility hallelujah the spirit of smallness that keeps you small in the name of jesus i cost it right now by the power that raised christ from the dead please hear me if there is any man who has despised your call and despised the hand of god upon your life between now and the end of this year 2023 I decree and declare may the grace of God upon your life begin to speak evidently two more prayers two more prayers do you believe in financial blessings I have told you if you are not empowered economically you will remain a slave forever any region any person any family the purpose of prosperity is not for the marketing of the flesh i was teaching my people and i told them the moment you you love jesus and you understand the purpose of the blessing don't be afraid to receive it listen to me one of the ways that satan keeps families and keeps destinies and churches bound is by surrounding them with zeal but with the spirit of poverty and lack there are many church buildings that have been stagnated there are many men of god who love jesus christ but right now they are parading the corridors of compromise because the means to take care of their children their wives their members there are many people destroying themselves becoming a prey to the devil i know that finances come when you transact wealth but let me tell you the truth god can use men to bless you i want to release a grace upon you in the name of jesus i lay my hands on my head and i'm praying by the message of the god of david the one who opens a door that no man can shut i am praying for you between now and the end of this year a dimension of the help of god financially that you have not seen may it come your way may it come your way May it come your way. May it come your way. And for everyone here who has lost money, whether in business, lost money, whether your goods were hijacked, I don't care by what means and what form. By the mercy of God, may my God, who is also your God, restore you a thousandfold. hallelujah finally you stand i will kneel to pray this prayer i place my hand upon the earth of the east in the name of jesus as an apostle of the lord jesus christ O earth i speak to you by the power that raised christ from the dead if there is anything upon the soil of the east that destroys the program of god by the mercy of god let the blood speak right now by the mercy of God, let the blood speak right now. By the mercy of God, let the blood speak right now. Hear me. I decree and declare the eastern region. I said it yesterday, I will repeat it again. The dimension of grace that is supposed to serve the nations from here, we open the gate for it to start manifesting. every son of the soil daughter of the soil that has been ordained to serve the purposes of god whether financially or ministerially and there is a spirit that surrounded you and just box you in the east here without having a global visibility i declare may that gate this night be open may that gate this night be open may that gate this night be open in the name of jesus christ hallelujah thank you for your patience 